Hi, my name is Leonardo Anchetta, and I'm the Vice President and Director of Custom Conjugations and Cell-Based Assays here at ATS. And so it's my job to help manage the production of our catalog products, as well as the custom protein-to-protein -protein conjugation services. And so the plan today is to try to share some information with you that'll help make your experiments more efficient, help you achieve more accurate results, and hopefully at the same time help lower your costs. So you'll be glad you tuned in. So I'd like to speak to the customers who've been using our secondary conjugates like our Fab Zaps or Streptavidin Zap. And so the question comes up, well, why would I want to switch from using a secondary conjugate to a direct saprin conjugate? Well, the answer to that question is really going to depend. So if you're using any of our secondary conjugates like our whole IgG Zaps, Fab Zaps, or even the FAST products, and you're specifically working in vitro and you're trying to screen numerous targeting agents, I would then say stay the course. Continue using these products because they are a great and effective way to quickly and economically screen numerous targeting agents. However, if you've been using our Streptavidin Zap with your biotinylated targeting agent and have seen great preliminary results in vivo, then I would strongly suggest you contact us about a direct saprin conjugate. So you're thinking you've gotten great preliminary results from your Streptavidin Zap with your biotinylated targeting agent and you're asking me, well, why should I switch from a secondary conjugate to a direct saprin conjugate when it's so easy to use, it's such a modular system, why would I need to make the switch? Well, it's a great question, and so the first point I want to bring up is homogeneity. And with our directly labeled saprin conjugates, with only the linker existing between the targeting agent and saprin, you end up with a product that is much more homogeneous than one that's made with a secondary antibody or even with biotin and streptavidin. And so this helps reduce the amount of variables when you're planning for that larger study, where you're not having to worry about the varying degrees of saprin labeling or where the saprin's labeled. So a second reason why to consider using a direct saprin conjugate is cost effectiveness. And this is gonna be important to some people. And so to make this easier to understand, let's take an example where a customer is using streptavidin zap with a biotinylated IgG. Okay, and so this antibody is approximately 163 kilodaltons in size, which needs to be reacted equimolar with streptavidin zap, which is about 136 kilodaltons. So, if this customer were to start with one milligram of a biotinylated antibody, they would need approximately 0.83 milligrams of streptavidin zap. Now, consider the cost to purchase one milligram individual vial of streptavidin zap, which would give you about two milligrams of final conjugate. Now, as a comparison, a typical saprin conjugation where a customer will send us eight to 10 milligrams of unlabeled antibody, which we directly link to saprin, that usually results in a drug to antibody ratio of about two saprin molecules per antibody with about two to five milligrams of final conjugate. So on the same scale, it would cost less to perform a direct saprin conjugate than for the customer to biotinylate that one milligram of antibody and you get approximately double the amount of final conjugate with a direct saprin conjugate. So you could see the cost effectiveness. So in conclusion, I just want to reiterate a few things about our custom conjugates and the services that go along with them. So similar to our custom biotinylation services, the fundamental goal here is that one, the linker doesn't interfere with the target binding affinity of the targeting agent. Number two, that the linker is stable. And number three, the conjugate releases the payload into the target cell. So all three of those things are really important. They need to happen, which is why we will discuss them with you when you contact us about your next saprin conjugate. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, you'll want to keep yourselves plugged in for future content, so hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow us because we plan to have a lot more helpful content to share. So again, thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.